I'll give you a choice. Do you want me to do the magic the easy way or the hard way? Who's it? Cheer for the easy way. Yay! Cheer for the hard way. Yay! I think hard is just one. Now, what I'm going to do, <coughs> I'm going to eliminate the chance of me using sneaky sleight of hand tonight. So I'm going to eliminate sleight of hand using this nutcracker and my thumb. So nutcracker and my thumb. So, no sleight of hand for me, and you did vote for it. Okay. Now, uh, Sir the Front, what's your name? <laughs> You've forgotten already. Should I ask someone else? <laughs> Sorry, what's your name, sir? I'm Josh. Josh, is that? Yeah. Okay, Josh, you look like a respectable, trustworthy man. No. Maybe I'm totally wrong here. I've got this box, there's a prediction in there, Josh. Can you hold on to that? Because I will try and interfere. I'll try and cheat any way I can. So if I come near this box, Josh, I want you to go, stop. Okay. Now, uh, are you with Josh at all? I'm friends with him. Friends with him. I can see there's a bit of a distance there. I can, what, what's, what's your name? Emma. Emma. Okay, Emma, you've got a role as well. If I come to interfere with that box, I want you to leap to your feet and go, don't worry, Josh, I'll protect you. Do you think you can do that, Emma? So shall we have a quick practice? I'm going to try and interfere with this box. I'll take a step back. Stop. Don't worry, Josh. I'll protect you. That's fantastic. Let's give him a big clap. Let me explain. Inside that box is a prediction. Inside there is an animal I've put in there. And it's an animal that you're about to pick in a minute. Now, if I was you, I'd pick the hardest animal. I'll make the magician earn his money. I'll pick an elephant to try and get inside that. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of a chance because uh, I've brought with me a zoo. So <coughs> these cards here, and it's a law. You have to, because you're a magician, you have to do a card trick. So on these cards here, this side looks <coughs> more. The other side, I've written a hedgehog. I've got hippo. Cat, goldfish, elephant, dolphin, monkey, mouse, lion. 52 of my favourite animals all in this pack. Now, I'm going to get you to pick an animal at random. So, as I just spread them out, just call any card you see out there and we'll use that card. Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts. So, let's see which animals on the other side of the Queen of Hearts. On the other side, you've got a frog. So, we've picked a frog there. And while we're at it, we might as well do it the other way. So, Emma... Have you got a favourite animal here? Just name the animal really? that you see here. We've got giraffe. giraffe. Have I gone past that, or is that further down? It's always at the bottom. Octopus. So the card on the other side of the octopus, we have got a nine of hearts. So between the two of you, you picked a frog, the nine of hearts. One in 52 chance for the frog, one in 52 chance for the nine of hearts. 52 times 52, 10 million to one chance. And I've rounded up a little bit here. 10 million to one chance that inside that box is a prediction. So I'm not coming in that box. Could you open the clasp of the box for me? Lift the lid for me. With empty hands, I'm going to reach forward. Oh, Emma's there to try and stop me. This looks a little bit like to me, it's a folded up frog. Would you agree, Emma? Folded up frog. It even sounds like a frog. Listen, ribbit. Okay. So that's the first part. That's your card, the frog. But like we said, we picked the nine of hearts. If I unfold this for origami frog, Emma, we've got your nine of hearts there. 